All right, guys, picture this. You're sitting at home. You're living your life. Nothing too out of the ordinary. All of a sudden, the Alex Trebek just happens to mention your name as the next host of Jeopardy. No big deal, right? Super casual. That's exactly what happened to CNN legal analyst Laura Coates, who found out she might be in the running to replace Alex Trebek in the year 2020. She's joining us now. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm great. great. To see you. I'm glad to be here. I yeah. love the show. This yeah. story is so amazing. You tweeted that you're humbled and honored by the news. It's a huge show with a huge following. I mean, what went through your head when you found out that the Alex Trebek <laughs> dropped your name on TV about his maybe his replacement. I could not believe it. I'm a lifelong Jeopardy fan. So I thought, wait, did he get the name right? I was, it was my seventh wedding anniversary with my husband. I'm sitting there trying to get my kids into the bathtub and tell them that you actually are tired. It's that happened on your seventh back. anniversary? It happened on our anniversary. And I was like, wait a second. Um, and you didn't know Alex Trebek. I, I've never met. Right. I know him because I watch the show religiously all the time. And when he said it, I thought, does he really, is he mean me? I was floored. My daughter goes, oh my God, mommy, he said, Laura Coates. And my son goes, Alex Checkback thinks you're smart. Oh, <laughs> thinks you're smart. Alex Checkback. That's cool, though. So I, funny. You know, he really did mean you. So yeah. We want to know, uh, we want to get to know you better. If you were a contestant on, on the show, what were the three fun facts <laughs> that Alex Trebek would read while introducing you? Oh my God. Well, one, that he knows me. Yeah, right, number one. Right now. Yeah, I know who you number are. two, I'm undefeated in the Kevin Bacon game. Like, oh, period, okay. hands down. Oh, Six degrees. The six degrees okay. you cannot stop me. Please don't try right now because I'll be embarrassed. No, 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 right. I can't be stumped. And I guess number three probably that um I watch Golden Girls every single day of my life. <laughs> every day, every day. I cannot get enough of it. That is a great fun fact. <laughs> All right, before we move on, we're gonna take this one step further okay. with you just to get even more cheesy. Ultimate test with a little Jeopardy like quiz. You ready? Oh this my is our God. exclusive people now version. We have 10 second countdown clock, some cheesy game show music. This is literally on the spot, and I'm sorry we're doing it to you. I hope it works out. No, he's not sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Yeah, this is All right, here we go. Three, two, one. This celebrity mom just posted a photo breastfeeding her son while drinking wine. Jesse, Jamie Decker, Decker or something? Yep, Jesse Decker? James Decker. There you go, yeah. Jesse James Decker. Be there. Uh, this, <laughs> there you go. go ahead. All right, this mommy approved law just passed affecting all 50 states. Uh, breastfeeding in public. Oh, how does she know it? This Oscar winning movie released in 1990 is about to open on Broadway. Are you kidding me? Pretty Woman, Julia Roberts. Oh what? my you, you God. Right. I, really I watch good. that movie all the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, Love it. This eco-friendly royal is the next to tie the knot. Oh, Eugenie, not Eugenie, Eugenie. Princess That's right. Eugenie, I, I heard he said that. I don't want to destroy the whole <laughs> illusion, but the answers may have accidentally been Oh, man. Anyway. She also, if anyone's going to get that, she knows what she's looking for, and she... But I would have known Pretty Woman regardless. No, that one was... Eugenie, was a I would have. No, Listen. thank you very much. Thank